Hey, what's up guys? Happy New Year and welcome back for the next Parenters Ranking video. In this video, we'll be ranking something different to what we've been doing lately. So, I've been ranking every color of Power Rangers from my favorite to least favorite, but we're doing something different, start the new year, so we may as well look at the beginnings of Power Rangers. And by that I mean first episode of every single season of Power Rangers. Now, that gets tricky because certain series of Power Rangers like Samurai, Mega Force, so on, have like, yeah, two seasons each. So, I will be including both first episodes of those seasons. I don't really want to, but the thing is, Mighty Morphin has three first episodes, and I love Mighty Morphin, and I'll be including all three of them. So if I'm going to include those, I have to include the other first episodes as much as I don't want to. So if you knew these ranking videos, what I'll be doing is, as you can see, I've got all the first episodes of Power Rangers, and then you've got the D tier all the way up to A tier, which is least favorite to favorites. I'll be ranking them by how I personally feel about them because you can't rank the best. Everyone has different opinions. And if you don't agree with how I'm ranking them, make sure you let me know in the comment section below. I'd love to know what you guys think. And as you can see, you got the S tier up here. That's the special tier. Now I'll only put three entries in that tier max because I don't want to overcrowd that with a bunch of first episodes that I love. Because if I had the opportunity, I would put more than three. But that's a special tier for a reason. For some before we actually get into this ranking, I actually wanted to do a finales video at the end of last year. Because I figured a year like 2020, may as well end it while we're doing ranking videos, do the finales of every single season of Power Rangers. But then I realized at least half the season, I really can't remember anything about the finales. And I didn't want to be just guessing where to put a lot of the episodes. And I just didn't think that would be fair on you guys. So... My idea is that I'm going to be ranking all the first episodes now and then throughout this year at some point I'm going to do finales and it gives me time that I can go and watch at least the finales for the seasons. Like I've watched all the seasons of Power Rangers pretty much. I've watched basically every episode but a lot I haven't seen in a long time. So at least like I need to watch the finales again just to just remember things about it. So then like I'll be more informed when I actually make the proper ranking video because I don't just want to be guessing everything. But of course, before we talk about the last episode of a season, we need to talk about the first episode of a season. And one last thing before we get into this, I mentioned already about the whole multi-season kind of thing. So like there'll be two Samurai entries, two Mega Force entries. And yeah, the other thing that you may have seen down there is I've actually included the Power Rangers Turbo movie as well as the first episode of Turbo. The only reason for that is because, yeah, technically, because I'm looking at the origins of these Rangers. And so, like, Turbo, the start of the season, isn't really an origin because, like, the Rangers got their powers and everything was introduced, like Divatox and stuff, that was all introduced in the Turbo movie. So I felt it was only necessary to include the Turbo movie in this ranking. Um, Yeah, and it's actually funny, talking like that, Samurai... Um, we can probably get into it more when we get to Samurai, but the first episode of Samurai isn't, like, the origin of Samurai. <laughs> There's actually an episode called Origins. That's what I went by, because the first episode of Samurai, I believe, was, like, a mic related episode, and it was, like, a filler episode. There really wasn't much significance to it, and, like, I'm pretty sure that was the first episode. I think it's, that's really weird, because Origins episode, like, Origins of the Samurai team was, like, halfway through the season or something which is weird <laughs> now one last thing of course before we get started make sure you give this video a thumbs up subscribe to me if you're not already and follow me on social media links are in the description so i don't want to ramble on anymore because i've been rambling on for way too long <laughs> all right let's get into this ranking and i just heard my voice crack oh well all right we have zeo a zeo beginning oh it's alphabetical also the uh, episode title not the uh, season so, a zero beginning. I've already forgotten what some of the episode titles were when I um, got all these images. So, yeah, so that's going to be fun trying to guess the uh, titles of episodes. But yeah, a zero beginning. I actually watched... That's probably the most recent first episode that I watched because I was trying to go through Zero again. So, yeah. Now I rank Zero. I've actually really haven't given it any thought yet to where I'm going to put all these seasons. Because normally before I record the videos, I have some idea where season is going to go. Or like, whatever the entry is. But I honestly don't know. So this may take longer. I hope it doesn't. <laughs> I don't want this video going too long. The only thing I don't like about the Zero beginning is that... Like, they introduced the Cogs as these, like, crazy beings. Which I believe Zordon said must be completely dismantled. But then when the Rangers morph, they just do a couple hits and they're down. And I think some even run away. I think. 
I, I, it just, it was like an anticlimactic win against the Cogs, which were made to be super powerful, apparently, and they needed these new Zero Powers to defeat these Cogs. Anyway, um, it's a good start too. I like how they got assigned the new colors and stuff. Um, it was sad, like Billy stepped down as being a Ranger. Um, also, borrowing any further, spoilers. Can you really spoil a first episode? Like, I get spoiling a finale because a lot's happened, but I mean, I, these are the origins. <laughs> this is how it starts. Can't really spoil the start. <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, where I put Zero? Uh, I'll shuffle them around after, but for the moment, I reckon Zero beginning will go A tier. Probably because it's fresh in my memory still, but I really enjoy it. All right, <laughs> we go from one all the way near the start of Power Rangers to, well, Beast Morphers. Mind you, season one of Beast Morphers, not season two. The start of Beast Morphers was pretty good, actually. I liked how they set up with Blaze and Roxy, like they were going to be the red and yellow Rangers. But then when, um, oh, I forgot his name, Evox. I was going to say um, Vengex, but yeah, when Evox virus took over like the couple of morphing tubes thing, they were able to save uh, Levi. But Blaze and Roxy ended up becoming like the Dark Avatars or whatever you call them. Did they have a name? They were just called Avatars. No, not that Avatar. <laughs> but they're like Avatars. I think that's what they were calling them. Also, I don't think I added Blaze to the rank in Red Rangers. This is why I think about Blaze. He's cool. Um, I might mention Roxy when we get to Yellow Rangers. But how would I rank Beast Morphers start? Mm, definitely not as high as a zero beginning. But... I think it starts pretty well. Yeah. Yeah, it'll go B tier for now. Again, might shuffle it. All right. Good um, good entry for this uh, this ranking. Beginnings. <laughs> um, it was weird how um, SPD did like one-worded episode titles. Makes it easier to remember. <laughs> All right. Um, beginnings. Yeah, it was actually pretty good. I like how it only started with like three of them, uh, Bridge, Sky, and Sid. And then in like Jack and Z were, I can't remember, they weren't criminals, but they, because I remember they got like arrested by SPD and then they end up getting recruited. Um, I did like how it starts Sky's um, like character development where Kruger asked Sky, like, if I was to appoint Sid as the Red Ranger, would you follow into battle? And he's like, she's a girl. What a dick. <laughs> But by the end of it, he's on board. <laughs> but um, I like after he answers that, when they finally morph, he's like, what? I'm blue. <laughs> I thought that was really funny. <laughs> it's like a bit of karma for him. Um, yeah, I really liked the start of it. And I did like um, Bridge when he first, um, well, doesn't first see A-Squad, but when A-Squad run past and Bridge like uses his powers that he has to like sense an aura or whatever it is. And he can see that something's not right about him. Like he's sensing what's, gonna happen with a squad later in the season but he's sending it episode one like all this cool stuff's been set up yeah i quite like it i, I think it was done really well you know more thing about it, quite good i'll put that in b tier and you know what? i might drop um beast morphers down the c tier just for now again might shuffle some stuff around <laughs> speaking of beast morphers beast morphers uh season two now see this is the problem i was saying with later series apparently just have more than one season Thank God, though, Beast Morphers wasn't Super Beast Morphers or Beast Super Morphers or Beast Morphers Super. <laughs> Go to Dramble Super Route. Anyway, I only watched the uh, second season premiere of Beast Morphers recently. I haven't seen the whole season of Beast Morphers yet because it's not all on Netflix. No, it's not. <laughs> I have to think about that. I can't remember much of it, even though I only recently watched it. It's only because nothing really happens. They didn't get, like, major upgrades from what I remember. I think it was about... Um... Or something to do with, like, Steel, who, best character in Beast Morphers. Steel, like, believes that Evox is still around, which he is. <laughs> well, is it revealed that he's back yet? Wait, Steel thinks he's back and no one really believes him. And then they later believe him because they see, um... Um... They see... Oh, I forgot his name. Um, the helper dude for Evox. Anyway, yeah, not much happens in it. So, uh, to be honest, it's going D tier because it's... I can't, I'm not going to say it's a filler episode because I can't honestly remember. But if I can't remember, then maybe it was a filler. Anyway, yeah, D tier for now. Um, oh, the uh, Mystic Force one. Mystic Force is one of those seasons I haven't watched in a long time. Like, the finale is one of those finales I can't remember a thing. The um, 
beginning of this, I kind of tried to re-watch a bit of the beginnings of certain seasons I couldn't remember before I made this video. So, uh, like, mind you, I can't even remember what the episode was titled. Really did like it, though. It sets up uh, the characters really well. I like the whole believe in magic thing, even though it's a bit weird, but I like how four of the Rangers believed in magic, and then you had Nick, who's like the outsider, and he says he believes in magic, but he doesn't get his powers because he obviously doesn't believe. And then, like, in the second episode of the, uh, like, start of the series, uh, I remember Nick comes in on his motorcycle, jumps off it, kicks Korag, and then when Korag goes to attack him, he's like, I believe in magic, and then blows him back, and yeah, that was pretty cool. I really like the Mystic Force outfits, <laughs> just because I, yeah, I was only just, yeah, watching that episode before this video, and yeah, I really like the outfits. The cape works. It's really cool. <laughs> um, I did like how... They get magic wands, but then Udonna's like, oh, like, <laughs> you can't really be walking around with wands and turns them into mobile phones. I thought that was pretty funny. Okay, um, probably C tier. This one might have a bit of shuffling at the end of it. Oh, Day of the Dino. S tier for now. I think the fact that I didn't hesitate to put an S tier means it should stay in S tier. I really love Dino Thunder. And oh, the start of it, it's just so good. It went back to the basics of like, these were teenagers with attitude basically. Because like the three teenagers really, like I don't think they meet here, but they like, they are both all like sent to detention and that's how they kind of have to like first get to know each other more. And that's how they end up all like getting the powers because they had all had to go to detention. So um, yeah, that's kind of cool. Teenagers with attitude. Um, yeah, I thought it was really cool how they get the gems and obviously Tommy as well. And <laughs> I like how it starts by like hiding the fact that it's Tommy, even though like you can hear his here, his, here. Not a bad impression. Could have been better. <laughs> um, also, Tommy Roundhouse kicks a T Rex in the face. Come on, that puts it in S tier. <laughs> and I like that. It sets up, like, Tommy's back. You know he's going to be a ranger. He, and was it episode four? Back in black? I think. Um, yeah. I like it. Uh, definitely S tier for the moment. Uh, okay. Oh, here we go. Dead the dumpster. Surely, anyone who watches Power Rangers has seen this episode. This is the start of Power Rangers. Okay, no, there's a pilot episode that's the start of Power Rangers. This is the proper start. <laughs> um, like, come on. I, I want to put this nest here because this is the start. I'm trying to think. There's parts of it that I, I'm trying to single out parts of it. It's so good. Like, when they... Some of the Megazord... This, basically, this first episode, if you haven't even seen the Day of the Dumpster, like, have you seen the 2017 Power Rangers movie? Because it's basically a movie version of or movie remake of the first episode of Power Rangers because all like you got the five teenagers with attitude they end up they ended up getting their powers then they get the zords and then they battle a giant goldar and yeah and I just basically spoiled the Power Rangers movie for you as well so you're welcome but yeah I will put this in the S tier definitely for now um again might shuffle them around a bit later but Come on, it's the first ever episode. It's so iconic. There's so many great moments, and it's so good. Like, one thing in particular, um, when the Rangers are kind of getting attacked by the putties, Billy doesn't fight because like, he's not a fighter yet. And so you get to see him, like, getting kind of chased by putties while the others are trying to put up a fight. I thought that was pretty funny. But, yeah. Uh, oh, God. All right, we got Super Ninja Steel. I don't remember a thing about it and I don't care for Ninja Steel that much to be honest I'm sorry that's really all I have to say about it like I can't remember much about the start of Ninja Steel like the first season but yeah this is one of those ones I just I don't know what to say about it I honestly don't um yeah all right, Time Force. <laughs> this is one I can talk about. Come on. The first episode, Rancic basically kills a Power Ranger. Some may say he didn't. I say he killed Alex. And then when 
they went back in time and things started to change, Alex was now alive. That's how I look at it. And yeah, like, come on, it's so good. Like, they start the series off by killing the Red Ranger, and then the others go back in time, meet Wes, who's the identical to, like, Alex, but he's, like, more lighthearted, and Wes is one of my favorite Red Rangers. He's so good. And, oh, so good. And basically, this is, like, the start, like, Jen is the leader of the team, basically, which is not a cool touch. Like, it's the Pink Ranger who's the leader, basically. Uh, yeah. See, like I said, this is hard, because... This, I want to put an S tier because it's so good. But now I already have three. And look what's next. A season which 100% I want in A tier because it's Power Rangers in space from out of nowhere. I want this in S tier, but I've already got three. Do I have to make an exception? Oh, God. Look, here's what I'm going to do. If more seasons go into S tier, I'm going to do it. And then when I shuffle them... Any ones that I take out of S will go back into A, the top of A tier. For now, in space, S tier. It's so good. It's so good. Like, you got the X Turbo Rangers going into space to go after Zordon, and then they end up coming across the Astro Mega Ship. They actually get pulled into the Astro Mega Ship because they're in the space shuttle. And then they meet Andros, um, who's like super hesitant because he, he works alone, Andros. And. I remember, like, the first episode, he's so mysterious. In the second episode, he demorphs immediately. And they're trying to, like, get to know him. But he just wants nothing to do with them. But then, some words from Alpha makes him, like, come on to the idea that, yeah, these guys are alright. And then gives them the Astromorphers. And then, like, they're the team. And it's so good. Oh, and also, the whole, like, opening scene to Power Engine's face, um, when you got, like, the whole Alliance of Evil, like, all the main villains from Power Engine's history so far... Oh, like they're at dinner and you got Andros undercover and that first reveal when the cloak comes off and you just see this red Power Ranger stand there with all the villains all around him. It's so good. Oh, I could keep talking about it for so long. I love it so much. Okay, Operation Overdrive. Uh, what was it called? Kicking Overdrive? I think that's what it's called. Again, like this doesn't help that I'm not a fan of Operation Overdrive. It's my least favorite season. The only thing I like about Operation Overdrive, and I think I've said it in the past, is the once a ranger team up and the Fear Cats. Other than that, yeah, I don't have much to say about it. The first episode, it it's an it's a start. Um, I think because another one I haven't seen in a long time. It's like the other four rangers get recruited. I can't remember why they get recruited. Um, but Mac is yeah, he's the son of uh, Stratford. Is his name? Is that his name? I think. Anyway, Max like not lazy, but he he like likes adventure and stuff. And then he becomes a ranger as well, and becomes the Red Ranger. And I don't think his dad's okay with it, from what I remember. Again, I could be completely wrong, but I honestly can't remember. Uh, what's sad is I feel like putting this above the Ninja Steel one because at least with the Operation Overdrive one here, this is an actual. See, I actually want to put it above the Beast Morphers one, to be honest, because this was. A beginning this was the origin of the operation overdrive ranges where these other two were like filler the ninja still one i think they did get upgrades but i can't remember so yeah <laughs> all right uh wild force here we go uh what's it called lionheart who is called lionheart otherwise i uh, made a mistake where i put it <laughs> um i like to start of it with cole like jungle dude basically but he's tarzan <laughs> They, Tarzan comes to the city. He's looking for his parents. And yeah, I like... He's just a different Red Ranger. And I like how it all starts. And that opening sequence of like... Well, not the opening sequence. But when it first shows the other four Rangers. And they're already like a team. They're fighting an org. And it's just a really cool like start for these Rangers. Like shows it's at night time. It just looks really cool. They all get to show off their powers. And you see, like, their personalities coming out, like, immediately. You see the friendship between Max and Danny. You see Taylor's leadership and Alyssa's... Kindness? <laughs> um, and then, they, yeah, they recruit Cole and... Yeah. I like that. He looks like a jungle dude to start with. Like, Tarzan, basically. And then by the end of it, like, they, like, give him a wash, cut his hair. And then they're like, see, you look way better. And then he rips off his sleeve and puts it as a um, headband. I think that's really cool. Uh, yeah, it's a good start. 
sets everything up really well. Um, it's one of those seasons that when they set it up, it was one of those ones I, I immediately wanted to see what happens next. Like I can't say the same for every season, but this was a beginning. Which I was like, this is really cool. Um, yeah. So I'll... I don't know if I want to put an A tier. I'll put it near the top of B tier for now. Alright, Mega Force. Uh, D. Uh, start of D, though. It's just... It's not good. Mega Force isn't good. It, I'm not a fan of Gose. I'm not a fan of... Majority of the range. Well, I'm not a fan of Troy. Um, Jake and Jia, I like. Um, but they can't carry the whole episode. It's just... It's just not great. It's just not great. I think when I first watched it, I was like, yeah, this is alright. But then, like, I slowly forgot about it, and it's just, I don't care for it much. Um, oh, here we go. Alright, now this is one I need to explain more. Alright, next one is Ninja Quest, Season 3 of Money More Than Power Rangers. Now, you may be questioning and going, hang on, wasn't A Friend in Need, or I'm sure that was the title, was the start of Season 3 and The Masked Rider? Yes. <laughs> but come on the start of season 3 is Ninja Quest a four parter where the Rangers lose their powers get the new Ninja powers and like this is how they start season 3 this is starts everything Rito Revolto is introduced uh, Ninja was introduced like this is the start of season 3 and so again this is hard it's going S tier because and like it's going maybe above um the day of, uh, day of the uh, dumpster. I was going to say day of the dino because you got day of the dumpster and day of the dino together. So I was getting all muddled up. Um, honestly, at the moment, Ninja Quest may be at the top. Now again, I rank him by how I personally feel, not by the best. Some of you may be annoyed that I'm putting it at the moment higher than the first ever episode. If you don't know. Like, Ninja Quest may be, like, my favorite ever episodes of Power Rangers. It's one that I watched over and over again growing up. Hey, guys. So, I'm actually in the middle of editing this episode. See? I've actually got it here. Um, what happened was, while I was talking about the Ninja Quest episode, I remembered I've got something from my childhood that I found recently because I was cleaning my room up and something that means a lot to me and I really wanted to show you guys. Have a look at that. Ninja Quest all four parts this was a video this i've watched this more than anything and see yeah it's called the ninja quest episode it's a bit torn it was amazing because it was actually at the local video store i used to borrow this all the time and then when the video store shut down they started selling off all the vhs and so i went in there and i found this this is the one that i borrowed constantly i was able to buy this and so like this is probably one of the most important things that i have and it's part of the reason why ninja quest means so much to me and it's why i couldn't put that what's it called a friend in need at the start like in this ranking like it's ninja quest this is season three and yeah i just want to show you guys it just means a lot to me i love it so much it's got so many iconic moments like i love the ninja zords i love that fight between the ninja mega falcon zord against rito um i liked at the start of the the four-parter where like yeah rito's introduced who i absolutely adore and then you bring like four monsters back and then I thought the whole thing about Rita being the decoy is funny. Bulk and Skull want to become police to impress girls. And, um, like, you got the scene at the end of the first episode of the Four Party where the two, like, the Thunder Megazord and the Tiger Zord get dismantled. They fall to pieces, wires everywhere, explosions. Some of the best acting I've ever seen from Amy Jo Johnson. Like, the others are great too, but her screams screaming no trying to run at the zords exploding while the other rangers are trying to hold her back oh my god it's insane like that is one of the biggest oh shit moments in power rangers when the two megazords got absolutely obliterated that it was horrifying as a little kid seeing these zords that you've been watching fight just fall apart yeah oh Operation Lightspeed. Um, where do we put this? Sets everything. It's pretty basic. Um, but it's still set out pretty well. You don't get 
to know much about the range except like joel is <laughs> gonna be an interesting character but yeah not much is set up um not that i can remember anyway but still enjoyable and i i really enjoyed lightspeed rescue i've been re-watching that recently too with our the range of danger podcast um yeah it's pretty good um uh, where do i put this b tier for now a tier is looking empty but like i said only three are going to be in s tier so all the others are probably going to get dropped back in a tier i'm not going to go back in the b tier so yeah uh samurai now from the picture, I can't even tell. Is this Samurai or Super Samurai? Uh, I'm looking... Okay, no, it's Star Samurai. Okay. Um, yeah, this is the origins of Samurai. So not Episode 1, at like Episode 17 or something. So, yeah. Was it 11? I don't think it matters, but... <laughs> uh, yeah, it's alright. Um, Jaden, like, recruits the others because he's already, like, kind of the Samurai. Like, got, it runs in the family, and... Yeah not much to say about it. again like samurai megaforce i don't care for them much i really don't like i think i said it before like at the start of the video a lot of the early seasons the ones i like more i still see all like the recent seasons but doesn't mean i enjoy them as much which is a real shame because i really want to like them and look samurai has a lot of things to like about it but it, this is more of a it's not memorable than i don't like it so kind of like with the megaforce one it's only in D tier for the moment, but I was thinking, yeah, I'll keep it below Mega Force One. I, because I, I think I found the Mega Force One at least a bit more interesting. All right, Dino Charge. Now, Dino Charge was a really good season. Now, this is I was just saying how these later seasons I still watch, by which I could enjoy more. Dino Charge was so good. I yeah, love Dino Charge. So like Dino Supercharge is not as good, but Dino Charge. It's so good. And yeah, a really solid opening. Like compared to like we just had Samurai and Mega Force. Then going to Dino Charge, massive upgrade. And I think a lot of that is why I like it so much because I had such I don't want to say a sour taste in my mouth, but yeah. <laughs> uh oh, come on. Um where are we gonna put this? I honestly think it's a really solid start. So it's going B tier. Again, I'll shuffle them around later. Uh, Prelude to a Storm. Okay. Um, funny story about this one. So, well, I don't know if it's a funny story, but I, I remember one year for like Christmas or something, um, my mom gave me Prelude to a Storm, the Ninja Storm like VHS. She bought it for me for Christmas and... I remember thinking like, oh, I was like, oh my god, this is a new Power Rangers, because I was currently watching Wild Force. I think it was Wild Force at the time. Well, I know it's the one before, but I'm just thinking that was the one I was watching. Anyway, yeah, I got the VHS for it, and I was like, wow, this is really cool. And I remember being shocked, because I was like, wait, the Blue Rangers, the, a girl, and the Yellow Rangers, a dude, because I didn't know this. Like, um, uh, I guess uh, the Alien Rangers had a dude as the Yellow Ranger, but I hadn't seen anything to do with the Alien Rangers, so yeah. Just, it looked different. And also, three ranges, not five? What the hell's going on? I remember being so interested. And like I said, um, with Wild Force, this was one of these seasons with Ninja Storm where I was like, I want to know what's happening next. Like, you got three ranges. Like, and, like, you know, shit's about to get real in this season. It's so good. Um, I think I'm saying it's so good a lot. But they are. <laughs> I just remember being so hyped for this. And... Yeah, some really memorable moments. My personal favorite moment has to be Dustin. Like, he's one of my favorite Rangers of all time. And Dustin doing the, um, like, it's Ranger form thing. Like, because the Rangers don't know what the actual morphing call is. And then Dustin's like, watch and learn. <laughs> and then he morphs. And he's like, haha, see, I told you. Um, something about being, like, the comic book geek. Um, or, like, who's laughing? No one's laughing at the comic book geek now, are they? something like that it's so good I, lo I love Dustin um it's a solid start because they get their butt kicked to begin with and then they get their powers like everyone gets like the rest of the academy gets taken and it's, it's a lot of setup and I really enjoy it so A tier honestly I feel like putting Wild Force up into A tier now no I did like Ninja Storm more oh Lost Galaxy now this definitely goes A tier I, In Space and Lost Galaxy are like my two seasons. They were the ones that I mean so much to me. 
and it's just such a great cast of rangers it's so much set up like the stuff that happens with mike um like miranoi turning to stone um like again yeah like i was just saying mike um like yeah mike disappears but also he pulled the red quasar saber and then disappears and then gives the sword to leo and so now he's guilty I don't know if he's guilty, but like he's got the sword that his brother had pulled from the stone, and now his brother's basically dead. So it's it's wild. Yeah, not much on the villain side because like it's Scorpius, and you know where that goes. But like, yeah, the stuff with the actual rangers, and yeah, just set up for what like it's going to happen this season. It's pretty good. So yeah, uh, okay, Ninja Steel, uh, Super Ninja Steel. Oh, no, no, sorry. This is the, um, yeah, first Ninja Steel. Now, see, from what I remember, I quite liked it. Now, Brody, he's, he was um, with the villains at the start of the season, wasn't he? Because, like, his family was related to all the Ninja Steel stuff because his father was a ranger. But then something happened to him. He disappeared. Or, did he think he died or he disappeared? Anyway, Brody ended up with the villains, not working with them, but he was like, there on the ship or something. I see again another one I can't remember much, but I'm remembering enough that it's definitely C tier at least. Bono is C tier, but definitely put it higher than the Mega Force and Samurai uh, beginnings. Alright, Turbo. <laughs> uh where are we gonna put Turbo? Turbo, Turbo, Turbo. Um again, this isn't the beginning of Turbo. Uh because like the turbo movie set everything up so this is basically the rangers graduating um and suddenly tommy's driving cars okay worse with the theme um where i know i put in c tier it's not gonna stay in c tier because i do like turbo probably more than most people i i hate that zord on alpha end up going and then you get um alpha six who's a pain in the ass it's hard cause, like, he's a pain in the ass, but it's only because of the way he talks. Alpha 6 is the alpha from Parangers in Space and Lost Galaxy. So, honestly, like, I may like Alpha 6 more than I like Alpha 5. But just their version of Alpha 6, not the Turbo version. And Demetria, don't get me started with Demetria. Yeah, there's not much setup, but it's still, I enjoy the episodes enough. Definitely won't go hide in C tier, but... Uh... I'll put it above Ninja Steel, but I reckon Mystic Force and Beast Morphers will stay above Turbo. Alright, Mega Force. Oh god, Super Mega Force. What happened? They became pirates and Jake went green. Okay. <laughs> oh god, Super Samurai. Oh god, it just gets worse. Oh. Super Samurai is even worse than Super Mega Force. I can't remember a thing. It's D. Uh, look, should I talk about it more? Yeah, I don't remember anything really about the super samurai opening super mega force at least i remember that they get basically new suits and jake for some reason is now green ranger but will still continue to wear black and i think gose says there's a simple explanation for that where that explanation was i don't know because we never get it but roll with it so the mutiny all right where do we put this um it says a lot of good stuff in the Muni. It's my least favorite of the three uh, Mighty Morphin like first episodes, but it's still pretty good. It's got a lot of great setup stuff. I like um, the, it's got the introduction of Lord Zed and it's super menacing. And then you get the Z putties, which actually go down easier than normal putties because all you have to do is punch them in the belly or chest or whatever. <laughs> you punch them in the Z. You punch their Z and then they die or they explode. Honestly, <laughs> um, but. Yeah, I like the fight sequence. I can't remember which episode it is in like the beginning of uh, season two. But I liked, um, yeah, when they were fighting the Z parties for the first time. And you have the instrumental for fight playing, which is like along with 541, my, they're my two favorite Ron Wasman tracks. If you don't count the actual Money Morphin theme. But like, I love fight. And to have like the instrumental for that playing while the Rangers find the z plays with Bulk and Skull in the background screaming how much they love the Power Rangers. It's pretty good. And then you get the introductions of the Thunder Zords as well. When they're like standing outside the command center and you see like up in the sky, like lightning and you see the Zords flying about. It's really cool. I liked um, first seeing the, um, um, 
the uh, oh my god, I'm having a mental break. The uh, red dragon thunder zord when it, like starts with a dragon and its transformation into like warrior mode. I always thought that was a really cool sequence. Yeah, look, not S tier, definitely not S tier, but definitely A tier. Uh, probably bottom of A tier, but there's still a lot to like about it. I think the reason it goes lower than like the others because like season one and season three had like more of a major change. Like the only real change that season two Money Morphin had was they got the Thunder Zords and Lord Zed was introduced. But I feel like there's a lot more that happened in yeah season one and three. RPM, it's such a good start. Like it's so different. It's got that like apocalyptic feel to it. And you get, like, really introduced to Dylan and Ziggy. Like, yeah, you get Scott, Summer, and Flynn. But, like, it's really about Ziggy and Dylan. <laughs> yeah, and she starts really well, like, out in the desert. And, like, I remember Ziggy, like, tries to hold Dylan up. And he just doesn't have a gun or anything. He's just got, like, a bit of metal or something on it to his back. <laughs> and, yeah, it's, it's a really good setup. And I like how at the end of the first episode, it's, like, the three rangers, they morph. And then, and it's not, like build up to it you kind of get to see all three of them earlier and then suddenly they're there in their like outfits ready to morph and you're like whoa okay um but i like ziggy's all excited and she's something about the power rangers and dylan's like who <laughs> um i get that in like their universe maybe there isn't like power rangers because oh like he hasn't heard of them mind you you get more backstory with dylan and yeah it could make sense that he didn't know about the power rangers because, like, Ziggy's, like, they're Power Rangers. Sorry, obviously they were Power Rangers. I just think, yeah, because it's the alternate timeline. And if it's gone to shit like that, and it's apocalyptic, like, where were all the other Rangers? Probably dead, honestly. <laughs> yeah, okay, that's just gotten depressing. But, yeah, alternate timeline, the other timeline, they're all good. So, RPM, I'll give them credit for being super different. Um... I haven't watched it in a long time, but I'll put it in A tier, honestly. Alright, Turbo Movie. Now, hear me out. I like the Turbo Movie. I know a lot of people don't. It sets up, yeah, all the Turbo Rangers. It's weird that they go from these powerful Zeo powers that like, are supposed to keep getting stronger and stronger and stronger, and then suddenly they're like, oh, you might need cars for this one. <laughs> and then you never hear from the Zeo powers again. Um, except for team ups in the future, but yeah, I like. Even though it's a weird change to go from yeah the zero to the cars, it's still like I like the setup. Even though they get their powers, like the zero had the full ceremony. You see the picture there, like the glowing crystals above them. They get all assigned their colors. Where Turbo, they all put their hands on the circles, like Hur, now, now we're Power Rangers. And then suddenly, little Justin is a ranger. Rocky couldn't make it, so they sent me. And, yeah, he's half his height. And, like, I'm bagging Justin, but I like Justin. And I've mentioned it in previous videos. And so, like, I'll put Turbo higher than... Like, it's gone higher than the Turbo episode, because this was actually the setup for everything. And also, all the stuff with, like, they bring back Jason and Kim, and then they go evil, and... I think because there's a movie, there's more to, like, like about it. Lots of dislike about it too. But it, it's still good. So I'll go B tier. But where in B tier though? Ugh. I'll put it below Wild Force. I was almost going to put it top B, but nah. Oh, wow. We got two left. Uh, this actually went... Okay, it didn't go quick. <laughs> There's not a quick video. But come on, there was a lot of seasons to go through. How many? 22, I believe. 28. I'm not going to go counting them now. Someone count them for me. Put it in the comments. <laughs> Alright, Jungle Fury. Yeah, good setup. Uh, I really like the characters. And, yeah, not too much to say about it. I did like that damn morphers are like sunglasses. I thought that was weird, but unique. And I respect that. And you get RJ, like the introduction of him, who's such a different and just so enjoyable character. So... Yeah, I think it's set up when, like, the stuff with Jared, Daishi. Yeah, a lot of good setup. And I like that Casey's not, like, 
what you would expect the Red Ranger to be. Because Theo and Lily are more experienced. Casey still has some learning to do. And I think also he doesn't get to morph straight away. It's kind of like what happened with Nick and Mystic Force. So, yeah. Uh, I don't know where to put it in B or C. No, I'll put it in B. But it'll be near the bottom of B. Alright, and then you got the Dino Supercharge uh, opening. Now, what happened in there? Pretty sure all the Rangers got captured and then Coda... Um, oh, because Ice Age came back and he went to freeze Coda, but Coda was able to get out of the ice. But you find out he's got like a massive fear of ice because he was a like caveman who got frozen for millions or years or whatever it was. A long time he got frozen. And yes, yeah, so he had a fear of that, but he had to kind of teach Tyler how to get out of the ice as well. And I like, they both get frozen, but they kind of demorph out of the suit as, yeah, the ice hits them and then they all team up. That's all I can really remember because I just remember it being really cool. And because it focuses on Coda, who's 100% my favorite character in Dino Charge. So, yeah, and Tyler was probably my second favorite Ranger. So to have those two as, like, the two guys who are, like, trying to help everyone else, it's, yeah, extra points for this episode. Um, still enjoy the uh, first, like, Dino Charge season uh, opening more. But, yeah, it's still good. Uh, again, not much opening though like it's not a setup for the rangers they're already rangers it's more like they all kind of get back together because they all went their separate ways but like i don't get that though because there were still two rangers to find or like two gems so the fact that they all split but they still had stuff to do i thought that was a bit weird i think there was a reason for it but yeah it's weird but yeah i'll go above ninja steel and Above Turbo. Nah. For now, I'll leave it there. Okay, that's it. Okay. Um, I will shuffle these first episodes around, and then I'll get back to you. Oh, i got to sort out that S tier now. Oh, boy. See you soon. All right. So, I have shuffled them around a bit, as you can see. Probably a few changes here. Um, I don't really need to go through all of them, but... Yeah, D tier didn't change a whole lot. Um, I think I put super, um, not samurai, um, ninja steel. Put that a bit lower, and the operation overdrive one I put above mega force and samurai because I realised yeah I enjoyed that more. Okay, um, yeah, so mystic force, yeah, it's top of C tier. Um, don't think I shuffled that too much. I don't think. I kind of feel like I should have put beast morphers above the uh, super dino or dino supercharge. Sorry, first episode because. At least Beast Morphers was setting up stuff. Um, I just, I really enjoyed the uh, first episode of Dino Supercharge, to be honest, even though it was more of a filler. Well, it was filler. But, um, yeah, so, B tier, not a whole lot. Actually, well, actually, certain amount of changes. Yeah, top of Dino, Dino Charge is the top of B tier. Lightspeed, Waffles, I th actually, I think I shuffled pretty much everything. <laughs> now that I look at it. Um, a tier. Okay, this is probably the biggest change, because as you can see, I'm taking some out of S tier. That was so difficult. And now, before I go any further, hear me out about the whole Day of the Dumpster is in A tier, not S tier. I can only have three in the S tier. My stupid rules. and no, I'll have to live with it. Um, to uh, well, let, let's talk about S tier first. Now, let's talk about why I put the three in S tier that I did. Like I said, Ninja Quest is like, some of my favorite episodes of all time of Power Rangers. Not just favorite first episodes. Some of my favorite episodes of all time. Along with um, the To the Tenth Power. That'd be my favorite episode of all time. The like, um, In Space and Lost Galaxy team up. But after that, it'd be Ninja Quest. And so, like, I had to put it to the top. Yeah, and then you got From Out of Nowhere. It's in space. It's iconic. It's so good. A lot of great stuff in it. And then you got the Dino Thunder one, which will piss people off. I know it's going to piss people off. And I'm sorry if it pisses you off. But like I said, I love Dino Thunder so much. And this is my personal thing. Obviously, I said Day of the Dumpster is iconic. It's the first ever episode. I know how good it is. This was so difficult for me. Because like it hurt to even put Time Force back in A tier. But the more I thought about like how much I loved the first episodes of Dino Thunder... And also because I was so hyped from like Ninja Storm. I quite enjoyed the stuff I saw in Ninja Storm. And then when Dino Thunder came and then Tommy returned as well. And I was just so excited. And yeah, I just really liked the characters in Dino Thunder. Um, 
Yeah, I think it also has to do with, I've mentioned in the past, that Mighty Morphin for me started from season two. That's why I started watching it. And then I went back and saw season one. So Jason, Zach, and Trini, as much as I love them, I started with Rocky, Aisha, and uh, Adam. So the fact that like Dave the Dumpster has three rangers who I wasn't as familiar with, whereas like, like looking at Dino Thunder, I really got used to like these new rangers and I just really like their characters and like start of Mighty Morphin, you don't really get like you get what their characters are, but you don't get a whole lot of it. And because it's the first episode, first ever episode, the acting's not like a hundred percent, but it still has its great moments. And that's why it's top of A tier. I couldn't put it any lower than the top of A tier. But yeah, A tier, uh, yeah, Time Force there. Um, like I said, I love the Ninja Storm one. Honestly, I kind of wanted to put it above Time Force, but the Time Force starts so good. The, like, Rancic is such an intimidating and powerful villain, and it's such great setup. Um, Lost Galaxy, was so weird to put that so far low, but still, A tier, absolutely. And look, both Mighty Morph, all of the Mighty Morphins are in A or S, so you got that. And yeah, IPM surprised me how high it was, even like higher than Zero. I just, I, it's one of the ones I want to watch again soon because, I, yeah, it's so different. I really enjoy it. Hell, you can see on the thing, like, it's got that yellow tint because it's, like, more apocalyptic compared to all the others. It's so good. Um, yeah, I think that's it. <laughs> um, yeah, like I said, you won't agree with this. So <laughs> make sure you let me know how you would rank them in the comments below. And yeah, again, Happy New Year. Let's hope that 2021 is uh, a bit better. <laughs> and yeah, thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next video. Who knows what that will be? But we'll find something. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.